Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing with the Arteza 36 half pants watercolors. Arteza was so kind to send me the watercolors and they asked to do a video with them and they came packaged in this nice metal box and um, it's not a full box so you can add some other watercolors if you want to. And they were shaked a little around so I am not sure if I arranged every color in the right direction and unfortunately the pens have no numbers or names on them. But I think it's um, it's okay like it is. I swatched them out and um, now I can play with them. Uh, of course I'm using also the Arteza watercolor paper and I am sketching some pumpkins because I want to create an autumn themed greeting card. I am so sorry for auto focusing of my camera. I am filming with my smartphone and I've got a new one and I have to figure out how the perfect settings are. I don't have a lot of other watercolors to compare their Arteza watercolors, but I compared them on a separate piece of paper to my Gansai Tambi watercolors and also to the Magello Mission Gold artist watercolors. And what I can say is that I can't see any difference between the Gansai Tambi and the Arteza ones. But I think the Magello Mission Gold are uh, more pigmented and the colors are more vibrant. And I also feel that they have a better flow, but they are more on the pricey side. So if you are new to watercolors and want to try them out uh, and try if you like them, then I would recommend to getting kind of a cheaper set and the Arteza one is a really good deal. I'm just coloring the pumpkins intuitively. I have no photo to look at. Um, I don't mind if they are not perfect in the end. What also works really nice with these paints is that you can soak them up from the paper if you wet them again. You can pick them up and create some nice highlights. And what I also recognize that they are a little more opaque than the Michello Mission Gold ones. After my pumpkins are dry, I use color pencils to give them some more details. It's time to create the card background. I'm using a homemade resist spray. It's a mixture of glossy Mod Podge and water. And I spray it through a stencil onto watercolor paper. The spray acts like a resist against the watercolors. So you will get a nice pattern when the colors are dry. Watercolor gets lighter when it's dry, so I'm adding more layers to get a more vibrant background.
I'm creating another background because I want to embellish my card with some leaf die cuts and I will cut them from this paper. I arrange everything to my card before I glue it down. I mount everything to a card base and add a sentiment. To get more dimension I cut the sentiment from black cardstock and also from some gold glitter cardstock and glue it a little bit shifted on top of each other. Finally, I can say that I really enjoyed playing with these new watercolors and I think if you are new to watercolors and want to try them out, they are a really good deal. And in case you want to upgrade to more expensive watercolors, you can still use this awesome metal box. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope we see us next time. Bye bye!